Hello and welcome to Six Minutes. I'm Gemma Collins. This week we report from the AGPN conference in Melbourne where everyone was talking about Medicare locals and their future role in primary care. Speaking at the conference, Health Minister Nicola Roxon said Medicare locals would be like polyfiller, filling in the gaps in primary health care and also give GPs their rightful voice in the community. But not everyone was so positive about the new organisations. AMA President Dr Steve Hamilton said that after visiting doctors in several states, he has found many are very fearful of what the changes will mean for them. And throughout the conference, concerns were raised about after-hours care in particular and how it will fit in with the new Medicare locals following the loss of the PIP incentive payments. We spoke to Western Australian GP Dr Ian Taylor, whose division is in the process of becoming a Medicare local. The problem is that a lot of doctors these days, whether they're Gen Y or baby boomers, don't really want to do after hours anymore. They don't, and so therefore they're going to need one heck of an incentive in, in order to um, provide that service. It's more than just money, it's also the logistics of, of assisting the practices to provide things like security. Um, because providing after hours care to a practice is a lot more expensive. And up until now, the state government has had to, uh, it's certainly in Western Australia, the state government has had to subsidise a lot of these after hours clinics because the federal government does not pay enough. Well, the future is very uncertain um, and I'm not really sure what the answer is, um, but hopefully the Medicare locals will be funded properly so they will be able to provide this service. If not, then they're going to be set up to fail. There's huge uncertainty. Um, we don't know exactly where our funding's coming from a lot, of a lot of the time, whether there'll be enough funding um, and exactly what we're expected to do. So it's a sort of a bizarre situation to be in, to be putting in, in applications to become a Medicare local when you don't exactly know what your role's going to be. However, the chair of the AGPN, Emil Jakic, expressed his confidence in the future of Medicare locals and told Six Minutes how he thinks After Hours Care will continue to work. At this stage the intention is to place the PIP incentive through the Medicare locals uh, and for that then to flow to the services that are clearly delivering the after hours cares that, that is required for patients in those communities. I think GPs professionally clearly look at that as their, their role and will clearly want to look at uh, value for money being involved with their services and I think we can really look at uh, this as an opportunity to reform that service. Uh, again, as I said, build on where it is already working uh, with GPs in uh, either solo or collaborative uh, settings and clearly where there are gaps uh, looking at well what are the solutions, what's it going to take uh, to help make uh, a service sustainable and again as I said meet the needs of those local communities in their context. Well let's hope that we do see Medicare locals becoming more and more successful as they develop. I'm Gemma Collins, see you next week.